This brings us to binomial theorem, our last extension one topic. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Well, binomial expansions. We started these back in what, year seven, year eight? An expansion that contains two terms. Right? That's probably not the first one we saw, but it's probably the easiest one. One plus x to the power of zero is, of course, just one. It is a binomial expansion. Then there was that one. Again, we don't normally do it that often. But then we started to get exciting. <gasps> one, two x, one x squared. Then we went, let's go crazy. One plus x all cubed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we thought, hey, what the heck? Let's try it again. Woo and we got one plus x to the power of four. I know. It's so exciting. And we said, hang on. Blaze Pascal saw a pattern and so now I'm going to expose his myth. We call it Pascal's triangle, right? Starts with one, then one, one, then one, two, one, see coefficients, one, three, 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 one, one, four, six, four, one, one, five, <laughs> ten, ten, five. I personally like that, bro. Uh, I think that's nice. Uh, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1 is good. Uh, sounds a bit ordinary. A bit ordinary. Oh, just wants it to go by itself now. It's getting carried away. Right. And then there's 9. Hey, if I went up to 23, you can, okay? Now, no, it's not. I'm not going to 23. Because 10 is cool. Oh, watch this. You'll love it. <laughs> Look at that. One, two, zero, two, one, zero, and then sitting in the middle is two, five, two, which is also a palindrome. And like the, the row reads the same as forwards and backwards, but the middle term reads the same forwards and backwards, but then the two terms either side, you've got two, one, zero, and one, two, zero. That, in my opinion, is the best row in Pascal's triangle. But anyway, so I'm going to expose the myth here. Pascal didn't come up with this. The Chinese discovered it many, many hundreds of years before he did. He just took the credit. But anyway, so 1 plus 2x on 3 to the power of 7, we don't have to go 1 plus 2x on 3 times 1 plus 2x on 3 times 1 plus 2 and do all that work. We can just go, oh, that's easy. Because what we know is those coefficients in the row go 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. And then the powers of 1 go up by 1. Sorry, down by 1. You wouldn't want to go up by 1, would you? 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoops, mistake. Doesn't matter with 1, though. And then 2x on 3, down by 1. <laughs> up, up by <laughs> Up by 1. If you're looking that way. And then you tidy it up and bingo, there's your answer, hey? How much easier is that? Thank you, Blaze. <laughs> but no, this is where it gets really cool because you're out shopping, as you do, and someone comes up to you and they've left their calculator at home, poor thing, and says, look, excuse me, <laughs> I've left my calculator at home. Uh, do you, it could happen, it could happen. Especially if you see me in the shops one day. Um, could you tell me what 0.998 to the power of 10 is? It's two eight decimal places will be fine. And you go, <laughs> I actually can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, because I know 1 minus x to the power of 10, because 10 being the best row, you would just know that one, because Pascal's stronger. Yeah, 110, 45, 122, 10, 255, 2, 2, 10, 120, 45, 10. What beautiful. Powers of one going down by one, but they're all one anyway. And, and then powers of x, but it's actually negative, so the signs will alternate. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. But then I can say 0 0.998 is one minus 0 0.002. But once you get to the power of four, you don't need to do any more. Hey, that rhymes. Uh, <laughs> because 0 0.002 to the power of four times 210 to eight decimal places is zero. And so you would just stop there and you just got to work this out 
and you go, oh yeah, look, it's 0 0.9801 7904. And the person will be amazed. And you can just sit there and go, yeah. <laughs> Easy as. <laughs> That's maths in the real world right there. If we have to find the coefficient, a particular term in there, we want the x squared term. I don't want to expand the whole thing out. But I could. But I don't need to work out the actual answer because I'm only interested in the x squared. So I know the pattern. And I know in order to get x squared, well, 2 would have to be multiplied by the term with x squared. And the 3x would have to be multiplied by the term with the x. I'm really only concerned with those two terms. I don't need to work out all of the other ones because I'm only interested in the coefficient of x squared. So I can work out 2 times 6 times 4 squared times 5 squared minus 3 times 4 times 4 cubed times 5, which you probably beat me to it already, 960. Huh? <sighs> There's a quick one, 5a. Eh? Hey. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes.